to my garden. After a very cold spring we finally got some warmer weather and the plants in my vegetable garden started growing. The lettuce that I had growing in the polytunnel starts to bolt. The top growth can be a little bit bitter, but most of the leaves are still perfectly edible. This is a Roman salad called Little Gem. I guess it's not so little anymore. I'm going to clear out this bed as I want to make some space for my climbing beans and cucumbers. It is so wonderful to see this young great tit enjoying my bird bath. There are lots of peas to be harvested. This is a variety called Oregon Sweet Spot and it has a lovely sweet taste. I love to stir fry mine with a pinch of sea salt. Every day I'm picking fresh peas as they tend to grow thick very quickly and I like mine when they're still small. And there's more to harvest. After two months my radish finally have grown into decent sizes to harvest. There are also a few strawberries ready for picking. This is my favorite variety called Mara de Bois. I'm also growing a new variety called Magnum. I've already tasted a few and they're very sweet, so I will be buying more plants of this one. I think this is a nice little harvest. The tomato plants on my terrace seem to love the wooden containers. They're growing so quickly now. I've moved my strawberries to the terrace as well. Here they'll get more sun so that the berries can ripen. And they're packed with berries. I can't wait to taste them. Next to the strawberries I have my courgettes and patisson squashes. I've removed the radish. They remained very small, woody and started to bolt. So this wasn't a great success. I used the space to plant some French beans. I've loosened the soil and now I'm spacing them out. As I have limited space, I'm planting them a little bit closer together.
Planting is easy, simply dig a hole and pop them in. With the warmer weather you can also sow your beans directly into the soil. You can sow them until mid of July, so it's not too late to sow them. Give them a good watering after planting. Once they start flowering, tiny beans will appear quickly. Although I have lots of bee friendly flowers, I noticed my courgettes weren't pollinated. So I'm going to pollinate them myself. I'm taking a male flower and strip the petals. Now I have access to the pollen that I rub on the stigma of the female flower. The female flowers are the ones that already have a tiny couchette behind the flower. It amazes me that after three days the flower already turned into a small couchette. I've cleared this bed and I'm making a framework for my climbing beans and cucumbers. If you have access to willow or other branches, these will work great as well. I make a wigwam like structure and tie them together. I've harvested and removed all my lettuce from this bed and then I've added some fresh compost and then I've added this simple structure for my climbing beans that I'm going to plant right now. It is easier to sow your beans into individual modules or pots so that you don't have to divide them as I do. I wanted to have a head start by sowing them into containers, but you can also sow them directly into the soil as soon as it's warm enough and there's no risk of frost anymore. Usually you can sow them from mid-May till mid-July, depending on the weather. I'm going to wrap these around to get them started. I 
and give them a little bit of support with some rope. When they're still small, they need a little bit of support by tying them against the pole. But once established, they'll hold on to it themselves. Before I continue planting more beans, I'll give these a good watering. I'm planting five plants around a pole. To get a continuous harvest, you can sow some more beans later. So in between I'm going to plant two cucumbers, so that will be a little bit tricky to plant them. These are the cucumbers that I've grown from seeds. I sowed these in April, so they have grown into these enormous plants in two months time. Just look at the size of this plant. I dig a hole the same size as the pot. It is extremely dry, so I'm already watering before I plant the cucumber. Carefully place the plant into the hole, backfill with soil and firm it in. It is much easier to plant them when they're still small, but due to the cold spring this bed was still full of lettuce. Now I'm carefully wrapping the plant around the pole and tie it in. I'm watering the hole because it's very dry, but also to stimulate the roots to grow deeply into the soil to search for water. Cucumbers need very warm conditions and rich moist soil, but not too wet. There's nothing better than the taste of homegrown cucumbers on a hot day. They taste so much better than the ones that you can buy in the supermarket. I've used the space under the framework to plant some French beans, beetroot and basil. On the terrace I'm already able to harvest my first courgette. These plants were grown from seeds in April and after two months I'm already harvesting my first courgette. Isn't this amazing? I 
think my vegetable garden looks really nice, especially compared to last year's overgrown space. The hard work is finally paying off, and it is so rewarding to harvest my own vegetables grown from seeds. The strawberries on the terrace are looking amazing and are ready for picking, but I will show you that in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you ever so much for watching and see you next time.